Hello, I'm David Hand. I'm the Republican leader in the Minnesota Senate over here in St. Paul with an update of what's been going on in the state legislature. This week was the first week of business and the first thing we did was we had a controversy over the fact that the Democrat majority has created a new finance committee putting John Marty, a very liberal environmentalist from the metro area, in charge of all the environmental policies in the state. This is very significant and very troubling because these policies affect a great deal of rural Minnesota water policy, among other things. We think that this uh, throws the balance of the legislature on these issues out of balance, and we're concerned about what might happen going forward. Meanwhile, our newest member, Jim Aber, who was elected in a special election, has still not been assigned a committee seat by Senator Tom Bach. We're not sure why he's not willing to have the people of Anoka represented on committees, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens. The uh, other things that we did, uh, we took up a bill to provide unemployment insurance for minors up in uh, northern Minnesota. Broadly agreed that this was an important thing to do. Uh, but we also had an amendment to that bill that would have allowed the unemployment tax that small businesses pay to be lowered. That fund has grown to be quite large and the tax would be very helpful. The relief of that tax would be very helpful to small businesses. That amendment, unfortunately, was not adopted, but we think that the Democrats in the majority are open to the idea and we are going to continue to work on that and expect that it will be passed. Finally, next week on Wednesday, there is an important hearing on a controversial bill. It is the assisted suicide bill. It's going to be held at uh, noon in the uh, Health and Human Services Policy Committee, committee uh, chaired by Kathy Sharon. If you are interested, come on down and participate in that hearing. But thanks for listening, and we'll see you again next time.